Black Friday and Cyber Monday can be a very stressful time if you're an e-commerce store owner because you're getting more visitors than ever to your store, more people are buying products, which is great, but of course it causes more customer service. So how can you deal with that automated? Well, the best way is to use an AI chatbot. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can very quickly and easily add an AI chatbot to deal with all your customer service and add it to your website. So I found this website here, which is a typical e-commerce store. We've got our online shop here with all of the different categories of products. And then we've got a blog as well. And then um, all of the information you'd normally get on an e-commerce store, like shipping and delivery, refunds and cancellations, terms and conditions and so on. So we're gonna create a chatbot for this website real quickly using Fastbots. And there's a link underneath this video if you wanna go and get started for free with Fastbots. And all I'm gonna do first of all then is see the name of this website, which is Handmade Naturals. So I'll create the chatbot here, Handmade Naturals. There we go. And you're just gonna do the exact same for your chatbot. And then all you need to do is just go to here and enter in the website. So we're gonna train it using the website. So I'll just grab the main part of the URL, put in the website address and click start. And now Fastbots will go around the entire website and crawl through it, finding all of the pages uh, step by step. And then we're gonna be able to use all of that information about the store to train the chatbot so it can give brilliant customer service to all of your users hitting your store. So what we'll do is we'll rejoin this video in just a second once it's gone around the entire site and see how many pages that it found. So in less than five minutes, Fastbots was able to get 2,238 links uh, by crawling that entire website and capture all of the information there. So here's all of the links. And now we can just add all of this to the chatbot's knowledge by clicking on add for training. And then that will now start scraping each individual page, getting all of the information about the products and everything and putting it into the chatbot's knowledge base ready for us to start using. So while that's going ahead, we can just simply go over to our Tune AI section, which is the next part of this. What we're gonna do is choose the AI model that we'd like to use to answer the questions. So I'm gonna pick GPT-40, which is probably the best model at the time of doing this video. And then just down here, we're going to give the chatbot its instructions. So this is just like you would talk to an employee and tell them how you want to answer, say, a live chat. You can now do the same for AI and it will do it 24-7, 365 in any language that you want. So here's the chatbot role. You're a customer service chatbot for, and then we can just enter in your company name. In the case of this one, it is uh, Handmade Naturals. There we are. And then we want to be putting in uh, the contact details if the chatbot does not know the answer. But there is a better way of doing this. What we'll do is we'll take that note there. Here we go. That just says apologies. We're going to put it down the bottom here. And so now the chatbot knows what to say every time uh, someone asks a question and it doesn't know the answer because it wasn't in the data. And it will just say here, apologies, I do not have that information. Please contact our support team. And then I can just put in their phone number right here, which is just down the bottom. Let's find it just now. There we go. Let's just copy that. And we'll put that in there so, so that they know what to do if there's no um, answer from the chatbot. But something even better now, what will happen is every time somebody uh, asks a question and the chatbot does not know the answer, you will be notified so that you can make sure it answers correctly the next time. This is auto training feature. And it will just go into here, into the Q&A section, and you'll see the question and the answer. You would then correct the answer and put in the real one. Click save and that's it. Now, if the chatbot gets asked that question ever again, it will know exactly what to say. So your chatbot gets better and better and better. Never forgets as well, like a human would. And then it will be able to respond perfectly the way that you want next time around. So let's now go back to see how our uh, data is getting along here. So if I just refresh this, you can see already we've indexed 1.63 thousand 
thousand pages of the website into the chatbot's knowledge and in probably around another three or four minutes it will be completely done so i'll cut this video and come right back and there we go it's done it literally took about another two minutes and it's now indexed 2.23 thousand pages from the website and we've just got five that have failed we can easily find those by just clicking the status and we can see um, why that might be sometimes it's just a bad page and sometimes it may have just gone down for that moment whilst we were crawling the site so we can easily select those pages click retrain and then it will just have another go at getting that data and it's done that for us um, very very quickly so here's all of the different products that are in the store you can see there's tons of them but the chatbot is now an expert in every one of them and it can help your customers find the right products find complementary products and really help with the buying decision so I've just gone to the chatbot right now so we can test it out and let's start asking some questions now I need to know what kind of stuff they've got going on in their site so I can ask some sensible questions so um, here we can see they've got some replenishing face cream so I'll, I'll ask about that do you sell replenishing face cream here we go let's see what it says yes we offer the replenishing face cream in travel tester size of 15 mil and then it's got a link going directly to it let's just try that link out and there we are look at that replenishing face cream so that is absolutely bang on now what else have we got here let's have a look at some shower and bath stuff um, so I can see there's quite a lot with aloe vera in. I like uh, lemongrass and eucalyptus. Let's see if it can find that product for us. Do you have any lemongrass and eucalyptus shower gels? Yes, uh, we have a product that includes lemongrass and eucalyptus. And there it is, hair and body wash for men. Might have to buy that. There it is, straight to the product. So imagine having this on your website. This is how it would look. If we go to FastBots, you can see we can install it so that it's just down on the right-hand side there. We can also put in uh, all of these different features like little suggested uh, uh, questions just down the bottom there. So the way that we do that, and we can customize it to match the look and feel of this website just by going to here, Appearance Settings, you can see at the moment it says fast bots. We don't want that. So we want hand. Let's change that over hand made naturals. There we are. And then we can also uh, add an emoji as well if we want to. So let's just say we wanted to add a flower or something like that. Let's do that there. There we go. And now uh, we can say, uh, how can I help you today? Or we can change that over from the initial uh, thing there. We can have a pop-up, which is, as it appears just down here, you saw that there was a little note just there originally. We can make that come up there as well. And then the suggestions are we can put like shipping time, and then we could put uh, extra returns. Let's just do that. There's a classic e-commerce things that people want to know about. And um, then just in the bottom here, we can put ask your questions here. That will appear just on the right. You can also collect leads as well if you want to. Depending on your e-commerce store, you can collect leads and you can choose what you'd like to grab from people, their name, email, phone number, and message. And then they'll all appear in this lead section just here on the left. So there's a lot that you can do with it. You can change over the icon as well. You can change the color scheme to sort of match um, your color scheme. Grab the, the dropper here if you wanted to change things over. So you can really customize it to make it blend in and feel really part of your e-commerce store and, and make it look um, bang on. There we go. So this particular store, you know, imagine if you're running a Black Friday and Cyber Monday uh, offers, you are going to get so many visitors to your store if you're doing a good job promoting it. Now down the bottom right hand side, you've got that helper that's going to be dealing with so many questions as they come in. To give you an example of this, if we go to our own chatbot system that's answering uh, hundreds of questions per day from all over the world, this is what a busy chatbot looks like right here. We've got many, many clients at FastBots with uh, busy e-commerce stores as well. And you can see all of your chat history here coming in we can also take in our customer service messages from whatsapp from slack and from a messenger and instagram so you can use your chatbot to deal with customer support across so many different places uh, all from the one chatbot if you are a multinational e-commerce store, then uh, having people be able to type in their own language as well is extremely useful. 
But what about you as the e-commerce store owner? You can see I've got a message come in here from Instagram. It's foreign. I do not know what uh, they're saying. Well, we can just easily translate all of the conversations that have been used in uh, their native uh, language so that we can understand them as well. And this can be in any language you want. We have this for everybody of every nationality can use Fastbots and then uh, deal with their customer support and their language choice. And that's about it. Deploying it on the website is super, super easy. All you need to do is add this one little line of code here and put it into your website header. Uh, it works with Wix and Shopify and all of the other big commerce, all of the other e-commerce stores. And then you'll instantly have customer support for your website and you'll be able to see all of your chat history and even have it emailed to you as well. So that's it. I encourage you to go and sign up with Fastbots and uh, take away some of the stress of a uh, big uh, Black Friday event and also Cyber Monday as well. All with AI in multi-language customer support. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, press that like button and I'll see you in the next video.